Hello, this is KC7NYR and welcome to my introductory video on SkyWave Linux. This is the desktop. SkyWave Linux is based on Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. This is strictly an introductory look at what's installed coming right out fresh, except for Kazam, which is my screen capture program you see here on the left hand side, and Library Office. Everything you're going to see is installed straight from the install disk. So at the left hand side, the reason why I want to show this to you if you're an amateur radio operator, it has some fantastic packages pre-installed, meaning you don't have to struggle with configuring any of them. And so let's get right to that part first. If you go down here to the drop down menu, you're going to see a lot of familiar software that you would have to install and configure on your Linux laptop. SkyWave Linux does this for you right out of the package. Now in this video I'm only going to give you a brief overview of what comes pre-installed. Not particularly any type of exhaustive look at each particular software package. Okay, before we get into the ham radio software goodies, one of the things I want to point out for those who've never seen SkyWave Linux is it's got a cool little item up under system and you want to take a look at what's called the control center and this is the area where everything appears right in front of you and as all of us know if you're looking for something uh, quickly instead of digging through the menus you're gonna see everything right here they break it down administration hardware internet and uh, network, look and feel, you can see everything there, screensaver, appearance, so forth, personal, and other. You can also change your theme and set your preferences, you can see here. Now this is really nice because it makes it simple and easy to do what you need to do right here at your fingertips. So I just want to show you the control center uh, for those who would like to get started quickly and uh, again I'm not going to go through each one of those items in this video. So back to the top uh, under applications if you're an amateur radio operator what we like is for instance I chose SkyWave Linux because I am interested in GQRX. This is a software defined radio receiver program using GNU radio and QTGUI um, toolkit and I bought a SDR uh, dongle from RTL-SDR.com and I'm not going to cover everything in this video about that dongle but it's a receiver that I can listen to pretty much anything I would like. So at the top a lot of the amateur radio operators uses Chirp. Well there you are. This is to program your radio. Chirp is already pre-installed and of course it pops right open and of course all your menus are right there. Again this is what we're looking for. You don't have to pre-install any of this stuff. So as an amateur radio operator once again this is one of the fantastic benefits of using SkyWave Linux. And number two this is Cubic SDR and this is a RTL SDR software defined radio program that I don't currently use but it's really cool. So I'm not going to go over it, but look at there, pops right up. You can see everything you uh, can do with it. And again, all pre-configured. Again, I'm not going to show you how this Cubic SDR works, but there again, pops right up, pre-installed, no errors. And uh, let's go to another one, a ham radio. Um, this is a dump 1090, which is a decoder, which I don't know much about, which you'd have to no, this is an aircraft program, I believe. Um, you would put all your uh, items on this. This is used, I, I believe, to track aircraft. I don't know much about this. Again, this is a general overview only of what's involved uh, or pre-installed with uh, SkyWave Linux. Pretty cool, right? And uh, a lot of folks use, um, this is amateur radio data transfer with ARQ. Again, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, FL, um, this is a amateur radio sound card communication, 
FL Digi. I know a lot of folks who actually uses this program. And there you are. And uh, I have a friend of mine who uses FL Digi. So there you go. Pre-install. Now again, you'd have to configure it to your radio and so forth. Pretty cool, right? So again, this uh, the reason I'm making this video is to show you all this stuff is right here in front of you and already done. All you have to do is know how to use the program. Again, that's outside of the scope of our video. Okay, pretty neat, huh? Okay, the next application we'll take a quick look at, of course, is a GP Predict. That's a satellite tracker. For those who know about GP Predict for amateur radio, here it is. Once again, pre-install. All you have to do is punch in your numbers and use the program. Again, outside the uh, use of uh, this particular video, but pretty cool, right? It's fascinating how what a great job they've done. Um, again, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see um, amateur radio weak signal operating is in here. Um, open web uh, SDR interface. Now, I am not on the internet, as you can see. My connection up here is broken. I don't have uh, internet connection at this time. But this is um, where you can actually go in and configure your mode and frequency through your SDR. Now, for those who actually don't have an SDR dongle, don't forget, you don't need it. You can actually go down here, what's called Web SDR. I want to show this. Listen to S Software Defined Radio on the Internet. As long as you have an Internet connection, and I'm not connected at this time to give you a demo, but basically it's pretty slick. Um, you also can go up here to the airband, uh, RTL SDR, multi-channel communication monitor. Uh, this is for the for the airband. If you were, want to listen to air traffic goodies, you'd click that, and you'd have to authenticate, of course, to start this particular service. But there it is, pre-installed. Again, we'll go back to the amateur radio. Um, QT Radio, uh, QTEL. Now this is an Echo Link, Link client. Of course, I'm not connected to the internet. Let's close that. So um, let's close that. QTEL is the uh, program for Echo Link, but this is for um, Linux. So if you wanted to use Echo Link uh, and you were connected, of course, to the internet, you can actually set this up and listen to the repeaters and so forth and connect using QTEL, which is Echolink for Linux. Okay, another one here. Let's go down again. And uh, you got remote server, uh, SDR trunk, monitor trunked radio systems with SDR radio. I have not done this. Uh, again, WSJTX, I've heard of this. Again, I have not used it. But basically here, um, was built on the code development branch, tells you all about it. Uh, for those who are uh, familiar with WSJTX, there you are. Look at there, popped right up. And again, in this video, I will not cover each individual program. I just want to show you what's available so you do not have to install it. I think that's also very cool. Okay, and uh, of course, wrapping it up, um, we have another one down here. Decode APT weather satellite signals. Well, that's also very cool. And of course, it tells you all about the program. And of course, it opens up when it's ready. It looks like it's on a countdown. Uh, tells you your terms you must accept. And then, of course, go from there. So, those who are actually uh, familiar with the software, uh, you're going to like this. I don't use this particular software, but uh, it's nice to see what's available and how to use uh, what's available pre installed. Okay? So again, I just want to give you a brief overview of SkyWave Linux. Now, the items that I installed to make this video was, you see, Kazam. This is my screen capture shortcut to the screen capture software so I can record this video. And down here, you'll see I also installed um, under, under Office, excuse me, LibreOffice does not come with it. I installed this here. It comes with the document viewer, but I need it for document use. That's the only thing I installed, those two programs. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at what else is uh, available. Um, 
you have WXTOIMG. Again, I don't know what that is. Uh, that's the weather satellite stuff I don't use. Education, GP Predict. And the graphic programs, La Bray Office uh, installed here. Um, Mate Color Selection and Simple Scan. Internet comes with the basic stuff, as you can see. Um, GQRX, I'll show that to you real quick at the very end of the video. Transmission, um, that's a uh, download and share files over BitTorrent. I don't particularly do that. A remote SDR client and P Siphon. Uh, I don't really use that as well. Lanterns involved, uh, installed as well. So you can see there's plenty here. Program software for those who knows QT4. Lime Suite G, uh, GUI interface. And that's a graphical utility for Lime devices. Sound, you have the All uh, Alsa mixer. Um, then you have uh, Pulse Audio and your sound settings and your uh, VLC player. System tools, uh, Mate Disk Usage Analyzer. This is something we expect to see, of course, your terminal. And uh, your log fire file viewer for those who want to check their log files. So that's all pre-installed. It's a pretty nice setup. Okay, so one of the things I thought I'd show you before I end this video is, um, which is not going to be an extensive walkthrough, but uh, I have a program called GQRX. That's my software divine, defined radio receiver. So um, I use this program to um, monitor whatever frequencies I want. So in this particular application in GQRX, you can see right here I'm monitoring 853.487.400. I've also set a couple pre, uh, these are scanner frequencies for a uh, police uh, radio. So uh, without going into detail, because I'm going to do a complete detail on GQRX at a later date, I just want to show you what, what I can do with it. Okay, so right now I have uh, started up the um, GQRX monitoring and you can see right here I've uh, set a uh, marker here of a uh, 1421 LPL with one Cornell and uh, from the Lion Gate apartment. Now you're here in live Washington County Sheriff. Now I'm going to turn this down. You have a gain down here. You can see where my mouse is. And uh, right now I've been listening to police radio. Now this is a waterfall display. Over here is another shortcut. And that's a live transmission, but I turned it down so I can continue the video. So this is the same for amateur radio frequencies. So what I'm doing right now is, is I'm using my SDR dongle as a scanner. So for my local uh, police scanner, I have a couple frequencies I like to listen to. So this is what I'm doing right now. Later on, I can listen to amateur radio video, or excuse me, sideband. <laughs> and... Uh, and over here on the right, you can see the different modes. For instance, if I want to listen to sideband, I can listen to lower or upper. And I listen to some of that. Um, and also, it's got the WFM, which is uh, weather FM radio. I don't get that too good in my area. AM, which is pretty much any AM radio station I want to listen to. And of course, these other options as well. Again, we're not going to deal with that in this video. So is that pretty cool? Um, if we go back over... Um, receiver options you can see the data streaming down through this really nice hourglass and this is just one program and this is the one that I'm using right now it's called GQRX so that's what I'm doing with uh, with my Skywave Linux that I give you a quick preview of what you can do with Skywave Linux KC7 NYR thanks for joining me today